Hi Munchkins, so they were playing Noctambula and this is another game off my list. I swear, I have like a whole pile of games I'm still getting to. I will eventually get to the bottom, I think. So we're gonna hop in. My name is Renee. I lived happily with mommy and daddy. Oh, that's cute. I love toys, all kinds of them. Oh, look at the doll! On my birthday, Mommy made me a doll just for me. I hug it every night to sleep. I love the doll so much. And I love Mommy and Daddy so much. Oh, such a sweet little kid! Oh, cutie! But something happened. Something really, really bad. The very next day, there was what they call a funeral. For which one? Who are you? Um, the only person at the funeral was an old lady. She said she was my grandma and that mommy and daddy have passed away. How'd you lose both at once? Grandma said that I have to move in with her and we're on a car to her house right after the funeral. I only had the doll with me. I had lost everything else. No, sweet little baby bean. Mommy and daddy were gone. Why don't you remember your grandma though? That's a little weird, a little weird detail. Uh, grandma's house was big. I was given new clothes, lots of toys and dolls in my own doll room. Oh, look at you go. Everything I couldn't have before. It has been six months since. Oof. Oh, I love the style of it. Look at that. Uh, don't you worry, little angel. How do I continue? Oh, it's space. Got it. Soon I'll find your other wing and you'll be able to fly again. Oh. Grandma. Renee, it's 7 p.m. Time for bed. <coughs> Poor grandma, she's probably sick. Pack up your things and hurry to your room. Yes, grandma. I mean, at least she's taking care of her. That's pretty good, right? Every day, grandma makes me go to bed early and locks the door shut. I don't understand that. Why are you locking a kid in the room? That's a little weird. Okay, that's pretty easy to control. Hello, who are you? I don't want to know. Grandma, you can take the big doll out. I'm good. She's the one from the title screen. She's gonna kill me. Oh, uh, Grandma. You will always be loved. Huh. So who killed the parents? It's that dream again. I can't sleep. Now that I think of it, I didn't hear any locking sounds. Did Grandma not lock the door today? Grandma's been coughing a lot today. Is Grandma feeling unwell? I'll check if the door is really locked. Okay. Maybe I can go back to the doll room to play. Anything in your room? Renee's colored pencils. Her mother used to draw with her back at home. Renee would tell her mom that she wanted to draw and they would do it together. Oh, so sweet! It is now one of the activities she loves to do outside of playing with dolls. Aww. Mommy used to draw with me. Oh, I feel bad for the little munchkin. What happened? I don't know what happened to your parents, bub. Which way do I go? This way? Hello? Ah, oh, nope, that's not it. This is someone's bedroom. Hey, where's your doll room? Oh, okay. What could grandma be doing this late at night? Mmm, I don't want to know. What is that on the floor? Did grandma drop it? What is it? Grandma's torn note. An offering for the three dolls, one drop of blue, two drops of red, one of yellow, and one of purple. Then give the shelf in the living room a big knock. 
Okay. Oh, hell no! No! No, 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 no. Go, go, small child. Run, run. We're done. We're not doing dolls today. Wait, was I supposed to interact with her? Hold up, hold up. I can't go back. Don't I? Don't I? Oh, I hate you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Becky? Did you name your doll Becky? Why she had no clothes? Oh, that's worse! That's so much worse. You better run. Child, run. Run. Come on, I see her. I see her going. Go, 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 go! Child, child, go, go, go. How do I hide? I forgot. Go. Okay. Hi, Becky! Oh no, Becky. Oh. Why did grandma give you that doll, child? You still out here, Becky? Oh, go, 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 go. Just keep walking. Keep walking. She didn't see you. I don't think so. Go, 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 go. I saw sparkles when I went in here. Okay, let's see. Mommy used to read these books to me before bedtime. I thought I heard some. Oh, the book of the colored spirits and the book of three. I swear, I keep hearing her clink around, but it might just be my imagination. Once upon a time there lived a sorcerer. He practiced a dark and uncommon magic, and the people in the village avoided him. He was lonely and sad and moved to live alone by the hillside. The sorcerer used his power to create five colored spirits, the blue, the yellow, the red, the purple, and the green. They filled his doll and lonely life with color, and he was more joyful again. But there was a group of royalty in the country. They were no smarter than anyone, but they held their noses high and snobbish. They feared the power of dark magic, that it would take away their positions. This man was living in the hillside with his lovely little color spirits doing his thing, and they're like, nope, not today. You're going to jail. Upon hearing the news, the sorcerer was shocked, but most of all worried for the colored spirits he had grown close with. In a panicked state, he created five colored bottles and hurriedly placed them into different bottles. The blue spirit in the red bottle, the yellow spirit in the green bottle, the red in the yellow, purple in blue, and green in purple. And you know what? You know that little drop list we have? I think this connects. So we're gonna write down which one is in where, and we're gonna keep an eye on it. Okay. And I'm guessing the other book also gives us a helpful little thing. Uh, with a quick change of clothes, the sorcerer grabbed the five bottles with him. He abandoned his home, setting off on a new journey disguised as a wine merchant. Now that was smart. Okay, one more. The book of three. Three curious girls, Lala, Lulu, and Lili. I love it. I decided to leave their homes to go up to a mysterious pink mountain. The path up the mountain was fun. The three good friends, side by side, chattered merrily through the twisting and turning of the road. Right before sunset, a thick fog enveloped the pathway, the trees in the forest, and they could hardly see anything. As they couldn't see less and less, that's a little weirdly worded, uh, the three girls got more and more afraid. Let's hold hands, piped up Lulu, who was in the middle. Okay, so let me write that down. Who is right in the middle. Reaching out her left arm, Lulu pulled Lily close to her, feeling more reassured. Lulu then reached out her right arm to pull Lala, but she couldn't find Lala's hands, no matter how much she felt around the fog. These hands are get up, hands. Fuck. <laughs> These, uh... These names are getting to me. Oh my goodness. Lulu spun to look to her right and her jaw dropped. A pale woman with long hair, black eyes, and abnormally wide smile stared right at her. Oh, wait, wait, go back. Okay, so... Lulu was looking to her right. We should probably write that down. Because... I don't know. It feels like it's going to be important. If these books are, like, 
slap dab right where the monster shows up. There's gotta be something. Lily, on the other hand, was looking straight ahead of her at the terrifying sight of her friend Lala hanging from the trees together with many others. I'm sorry, wasn't she just there? The bad three girls who decided to leave their homes to go explore the mysterious mountain got punished dearly. What did she do? Hold up. All they did was look around. What did she do? She didn't do anything. So Lulu was looking one way, Lala was looking another. Does that mean the monster lady was looking at which one was in the middle? Lulu? Yeah. So these two were looking at each other. And then the one was staring ahead like, oh shit. I think I heard her. Either way. Um, I can interact. Angel doll. The doll was a gift from Renee's mother. Both wings had fallen off and one of them was lost way back before the parents were alive. Oh, and there's the parrot. Matcha! A one toy resembling a lovebird with what looks like a cut on one of its cheeks, which made it unique. But the question is, was the scar given or received? That's an odd little- <gasps> No, 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 oh, no, Becky! I don't like you, Becky, you're creepy. Do we think she's gonna go far enough away? Oh, I hate that. Goodbye, Becky. Goodbye. I I want to leave. Thanks, Becky. I'm going this way. You can go that way. Oh, what is she? She's in here. Oh, look, 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 look. You see those? That looks like what we need, right? Those dolls are the offering, right? Hold up, hold up. Um, big shelf in the living room and knock. So it's that. And we need to make a cup with the offerings in it. Huh. You know, this game is surprisingly simple, actually. And I kind of like it. I want to get more story, though. What happened to little Renee? Where's her parents? What happened to them? Okay, there's a yellow bottle. Oh. And that has the green spirit, and we don't need the green spirit, so fuck off. Uh, what's in here? Storeroom. That has the blue bottle? It looks blue. I think it's blue. Was that me or her? Oh, uh, Becky! Actually, wait. I don't want Becky to come. Goodbye, Becky! Oh, here's a cup. Okay. Nice. Um, actually, let me go back and grab a few blue. Which would be purple. So, technically, we need... I'll look when we get in there. But if it's a blue cup, that means we only need one purple let me see if i got this right actually yeah so uh the stories line up with the bottles and the shelf needs to be changed that is so neat it's a nice little way of telling what you need to do i like it becky you in here Please don't be. No, Becky isn't here. No, Becky. No, 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 no. Becky. Uh-uh. I saw your next snapback. Becky, we're all friends, right? Is she following? <gasps> yeah, she is. Oh, she is. Mm -mm. No, thanks. Becky, you can go your way. I'll go my way. Okay, we'll hide right here for a sec. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, Becky. Becky, no. Becky, no! No. Creep. Leave the poor child alone. She lost her parents. She's with this random-ass grandma. What's she gonna do? 
Uh, let's see. So we got purple, we need red, blue, and yellow. Becky should be gone by now, I think. Becky? Are you gone, buddy? You better be. If not, you're too slow. Actually, hold up. She might be incredibly fast. Look at that. She's gone. No, she's not. I just heard her do her little clickety-clack. Oh, Becky. Becky. No, not that way. I'll go this way first. It doesn't sound like she's this way. Oh, Becky dear. Ooh, red bottle, which has the blue spirit in it, and we need one of those. How'd she reach that? She is way too tiny. There is no way in hell. Ooh, bathroom. I don't see any bottles, though. Somebody's in there! Look at that. You see that little shadow? Hold up. Right here? You see it? There's a figure in there. Becky, are you taking a shower? You little stinky. I hope so, because I don't like the implications. Be Becky. I don't think there's one in there. This is Renee's room. Past here, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, no, no. There's a bedroom. And there's a bottle. Okay. Uh, you're purple, right? Oh, Becky! No, Becky! No, 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 no! Becky! Becky! Becky, I hid! Becky, I hid! I hid! Becky! Oh, no, Becky! You good? You okay? I'm not. Bye. Have a nice trip. Okay, purple. God damn. What's in the purple bottle? Blue? I already got blue. Oh wait, no, I almost read that backwards. Um No, that's green. I don't need green, do I? No, I don't need green. Damn it. Oh no! Wait, hold up. I need two drops of red and it's all the way the other way. Dang it. I was reading my list backwards, and I'm the one that wrote it! Ah! Becky, you better not be this way. I need- I need to go it. I need to go it. I need to go this way! Ah, oh, just ignore me. Sometimes I can't speak. Oh, Becky! Becky, dear! I have a knife. I'm not afraid to use it. It's right here. I guess you could call it a cleaver, but whatever. Okay, I need two of these. There we go. So we got blue, red, purple. I need yellow. Where's the green bottle? I don't hear Becky. So I'm guessing it's all the way the other way. I also have to fix these like little statues because there was a hit about them looking a certain way. And if I don't do that, there's a whole nother list of shit I gotta deal with. Anything in here? Nope. I don't hear a Becky either. I wanna know where she's going though. Or what? Why are you here? No, 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 Go, go. Move those little legs. You're in danger. A little faster would be nice. Hi. Hello. Lovely trip. Ah, yes. You love staring at the rain. I also love staring at the rain. Huh. She didn't do... Oh, yep. Yeah, she did. Bye. Oh, it'd be so fucked up if she ran back in. Like, I heard you. Very, very bad. Ooh. Maybe she didn't see me actually. Hold up. That might have worked in my favor. 
That means she should be gone then, right? You gone? No, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. Mm -mm. You're not. Becky. Becky, go away. Becky, no one likes you. I don't like you. Becky, fuck off. I see you. I see you creeping around that corner like a creep. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna wait in here for a little bit. Hopefully she, like, goes all the way down the hall. The other way. Not the way we need to go. Maybe Becky's gone now. Oh, Becky, dear. Oh, that's creepy. Oh! Oh, wait. The yellow spirit. And we need one drop of that. Oh, that should be everything, right? Why are you all staring at me like that? You weirdos. Ugh. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll put it on the altar. Oh, wait, no. First, we gotta fix the eyes of the dolls. But Becky is probably down here, so we gotta be careful. Becky, dear. Uh, no. I need to fix these. Can I fix these, please? Please don't break. I need to fix the dolls. Okay, let me do the little doll heads. <gasps> yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the creepy lady, right? So she's looking... Okay, that was the dolls. She's looking at her, and then she's looking up front, right? Yeah. Okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. Uh, then give the big shelf in the living room a knock. And I... Oh, fuck. Oh, no! Becky! 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 Listen! Listen! The grandmother's gonna be very angry if you, uh, kill her grandchild. No, 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 Becky! No, 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 no. Hide. Oh, Becky. Keep your creepy neck to yourself. Ooh. Ah, dang it. Now we gotta wait for her to go, like, all the way back down and hope she doesn't go into the living room. Yep, I see you, Becky. I'm still here, waiting for you to go down the hall. Take your first door on your right. Oh, wait, no, the right would lead to the living room. One minute. Nope, take the one on your left. Like, there'll be two. Go through the left one. And then go straight down the hall. And now we go into the living room. And we give the big shelf a knock, which would be this. Knock, knock. Now, what is grandma hiding? Why is there a secret passage in my house? Grandma's hiding something from you, Bob. And we're gonna figure out what it is. Aw, no, thank you. Actually, Renee, go back to bed. Please and thank you. Go back to bed. Uh, basement map. How in the... Mm-hmm. I- I'm not getting it, but okay. That one does- Oh, I hate this. Uh, I'm gonna guesstimate. What is that? Oh, it's a mirror. A pretty looking hand mirror. That's been broken by Renee. Her grandmother took it away thereafter. I don't like mirrors. Why? Okay. No, no, no. No, no. We're not doing this. We are not doing that. Um. Ooh, and the sounds are gross. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, you're nasty. You're all nasty. Okay. Why does it kind of look like Thomas? <laughs> the engine. <laughs> what is this? Um, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I think I went the wrong way. We're just gonna close that again. We'll go this way. Dang it! 
Okay, I don't get it at all. I'm a little confused, if we're being honest. Ah, <gasps> oh, oh, there's a hand. There's a hand. Mm -mm. So if I take too long, the hand's going to come kill me? Is that it? If so, no thank you, Grandma. Grandma's into some weird ass shit. Nope, you leave that open. I will eventually find my way through here, but there is a paper on the wall and I want it. How is that helping me? I don't get it. <laughs> Maybe if I like felt the need. Oh, I made it. Wow. Um, thanks. That didn't help me at all. Um, there's a whole shit ton of dolls. Um, okay. So, wait, wait, wait. So, we're just gonna do all of them? I guess so. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so, this weird seven, this one, this one, and a T. <gasps> oh, I got it! The Book of Awakening. Chapter two. The possessed often reside in objects that belong to the family, will be cursed to only walk at night, guarding the residence of its own family. They are referred to as noctambulant spirits. Hmm, you know who that sounds like, guys? It sounds like our good old friend Becky. If an outsider is seen in possession of anything that belongs to the family or have invaded into the premises, it will do whatever means to remove them. A few case studies have been collected in relation to noctambulant spirits. A huge chunk of the sections are descriptions of case studies. Okay, so you're not even gonna let me read them? This book, why is it here? I don't know, little baby. I don't know. There's something else in the book. A paper charm. A diamond-shaped charm. It is filled with mysterious, unreadable words scribbled in a specific pattern. This charm in the book. I've seen them before. The book was in mommy's study room and the charm was illustrated in the book too. Okay. You're not gonna give me a hint? Well, that was a hint, but like, words. I want words. I didn't want to remember that again. From what is written in the book, Becky is possessed by something to protect its family. And it doesn't think you're family. And they go after outsiders who were not part of the family. This is only the second part. Where's the first part? Perhaps grandma knows about it. After all, it is hidden in this secret basement. Yeah, bub. Um, maybe I can find more answers in grandma's room. How do we get back out though? <gasps> no, 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 no. I'm not dealing with that. Mm -mm, no, thank you. Y'all can have fun. Keep your weird doll hands to yourself. I'm leaving. Bye. I am not getting lost in here. Let me out. Thank you. Hey, Becky, uh, can you not try anything in the foreseeable future? No, no. You go back the other way. That's the way I need to go. Beck, you bitch. And she she went the way I need to go. <sighs> Becky, why? If Becky's down here, we'll deal with her when we get there. Oh, there's like little steam stuff. Oh, and there's a little hiding room right here. Or, well, area. Hiding area, not a room. A strong smell of ointment. It's a smell grandma always has on her. I have to be quiet so not to wake her. Well, you're being nice. Hmm. Chapter 1. Creation of a voodoo doll, otherwise known as the act of voodoo, is a curse one performs to disrupt the natural flow of life. A ritual sought after by many, voodoo is believed to have the power to bring one back from the dead. 
I don't like where this story is going. Voodoo requires a body for a spirit to return to, and a human medium to act as a pathway for the dead spirit to return back to the human realm. The human medium is to also create an object of a personal attachment to direct the spirit's memory to. From a few case studies, it is also noted that the ones brought back to life are never truly the same again. The act of voodoo is considered to be sacrilegious, even in the world of dark arcs. Dang. Uh, the medium acting as a pathway for the dead that pass through the realms gives up their own pathway out of the human realm after death. As a result, the medium will be trapped forever, resigned in a earthly object, bound to serve the family they belong to. Becky is somebody who brought somebody else back. Huh. So after bringing one back in a different form, the user gets cursed to become a noctambulant spirit after they die? Yep, and that's what Becky is. Lovely. So what's next? Wait, what do we do after that? Hold up. Are we supposed to go back to our room? Nope, that's not our room. Okay, little munchkin, um... You think over everything you just dealt with. Actually, I don't know what we do next. Hold up. Yeah, we got the paper charm. Oh, Renee! Are you okay? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Was I supposed to go further into uh, her room? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was a ladder. There was a ladder. Okay, let me get back there. And I guess we're going up the ladder? Yeah. Hi, Grandma. Love yeah, there is another book up here. But lovely to see you, Grandma. Okay, Grandma's diary. February 4th, 2004. Carrie is still extremely distraught from the incident. Which one? Uh, it has been a whole year in... Even I cannot say I'm still not very much affected by the loss of my very own granddaughter. Oh, oh I get it. I get it. I see the story. Uh, Nedrick looks very stressed whenever I go over, so I'm trying to give them some space. Uh, May 18, 2004. Carrie has been writing once in a while to me, but this particular letter today was strange. She seemed hopeful and happy. I hope this will finally be heading in the right direction. Oh no! I hope my sweet daughter will finally be back to how she was before. Oh no! June 6, 2004. There have been no letters ever since. I'm still writing to them, but they have not gotten back to me. Maybe after sending that letter, they went on a trip. It's all for the better. April 4th, 2005. Everything happened way too fast. The news of the passing of my daughter and my son-in-law arrived just before dawn. That was not the only thing that I was informed of. I was told to fetch their child, my granddaughter, as I am the only next of kin left. How? I am still unable to come to terms with what is happening. However, I must attend the funeral and I must find out what has been going on. April 7th, 2005. I have fetched my granddaughter. It was my little Renee indeed, but at the same time, it did not seem to be her. She did not recognize me, and I only play along until I find out everything about this. My dear Carrie, what on earth happened? I cannot believe my daughter is gone just like this. Last night, something very unusual happened. I had gifted Renee a lot of dolls, seeing how much she liked them. But when I went out for a glass of water, one of the bigger dolls was walking about. However, it did not do anything to me. Regardless, this is too strange. I have to keep Renee to her bedroom at night until I find out about everything. April 24, 2005. The police arrived today. They are here to return to me the remaining properties they had taken from Carrie and Nedrick's house for investigation. One of them was an old red book with parts of it torn out. After reading it tonight, I found out the doll was Carrie, my beloved daughter. She's still here. I have also found out why my granddaughter is still alive now. Uh, Carrie did something unforgivable. How much pain she must have been going through to resort to this. I still have to keep Renee in her room until I find the remaining sections of the book. I will look through the book again. So it is true that Becky is mommy. And Grandma knew all along. Is that why she kept Becky around? But why does she still have me here? Even though she knows I'm not her real granddaughter. 
even though I'm an outsider. Oh, oh baby. <coughs> oh shit, we better get. I'm not supposed to be out of my room this late. I need to get back to my room before Grandma wakes up. Yeah, let's go. It's kind of sad though. She doesn't really see her as her granddaughter, does she? She's like, oh yeah, it's kind of her, but not really. And that's fucked up. Like, yeah, I get it. She's not really your granddaughter, but she's a child. And she's now your responsibility. At least treat her like it, you know? It's a little sad. Uh oh. Something is coming. I need to hide. Oh, and we're hiding in the bed this time? Nope. No, thank you. Becky, keep yourself to yourself. Oof. Oh, yeah, we are under a bed. <laughs> oh, fuck! Grandma! Grandma! Renee, what are you doing under the bed? Heh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, you haven't left your room, have you? No, Grandma, what made you say that? No, I was here all the time. I was just feeling afraid. Uh, there's nothing to be afraid of, my sweet little child. Is that really true, Grandma? Of course, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. <laughs> did you really not leave your room, Renee? I did not. Lie to your Grandma. Woo. All right, then. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Uh, Grandma is feeling a little under weather, so I must be muddle-headed. That's... I don't, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Uh, I'll be heading back to bed. You should go to bed, too. Wait, Grandma. What is it, Renee? Do you think I am left? No, no, you paused! That is so rude. Of course, my sweet little girl. Why are you asking such a silly question? All right, good night, Grandma. Good night. You didn't even tell her you love her when you left. Mommy chased me because I'm an outsider. And Grandma came here so quickly, she must not have been chased because they are family. And I am not. Grandma lied. Oh, no! No! Uh, she doesn't see me as her family, but I'm sure she loves me or she's hiding something. She doesn't, though. Did you see that pause? She's like, um, sure. Oh, no. She doesn't. I'm sorry, little baby. It's not your fault. She doesn't, though. After all, it is all my fault. Mommy will not attack anything she sees as family. So if I- Wait. Oh, I think I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. So if I wasn't around, everyone will be happy and Grandma will be happy to- No, baby! Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, no, this child is gonna do something. That torn section of the book that Grandma didn't have, I know where it is. I knew all along. I need to get to the playroom. Oh, Renee. And Becky's gonna conveniently not be around right now. Of course. Angel doll. Chapter 3. It was in the doll? That's weird, though. To release the trap, not Chamberlain's spirit, simply soak the charm in unclean water thoroughly. Water turns unclean when touched by other spirits. When the incantation of the charms are smudged and corrupted, the charm will then need to be placed anywhere on the object of which the soul is trapped and the ritual is complete. It is noted the water used to soak the charm will start to corrupt. It starts the moment it comes into contact with the charm and is extremely dangerous for humans. Saturate the water with salt and dispose of it after the ritual is done. Unclean water. Where can I find what? Renee. Oh, I made a horrible choice. I think I should have just chose, oh, you're still loved. 
feel bad now. Um, we need to go to the bathtub, though. Oh, I wish I could choose a different option now. I kind of feel bad. Uh, oh, wait, no, I went the wrong way. But as I said, yeah, Becky is completely gone. Magically. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Purifying charm. The once lifeless paper charm now being soaked in the bathtub gives off ominous energy. Not to give, but to take away. Okay, so we're going to use that on... Ourselves? Oh, I thought it was Becky. And then she was going to hop into the tub. No. Into the tub. Yeah, she's still hopping into the tub. Oh, oh no. No, she's not. She's just taking away herself. Oh, I feel bad. Now it is all over. Nobody will be troubled anymore. I chose it. Uh, I did this. <laughs> On that day, I found out about something I should never have. Mother's study room filled with notes and studies on how to get back her daughter. Father saw me. He was never really happy whenever he saw me. So he didn't consider her uh, his real daughter either. But I never expected that he thought that of me all this time. Aww. You were not my daughter. Those words pierced me, hitting somewhere in the void inside of me. I never knew existed. I had to do what had to be done, but I knew at the back of my head that nothing in this world was meant for me. Oh no! Little baby, not parents, not love. Oh, I'm awful. I, I chose this path. Oh no! Not the name, not the toys. It was meant for Renee. He killed her! That's why I deserve to have everything taken from me. The husband killed her. Dude, what the hell? Hold up, can we rewind for a sec? He killed his wife. Okay, Munchkins, I'm gonna leave this here. That was so sad. Like, what the hell, man? The poor little baby. She didn't choose to be brought back. I I love the story and the art was amazing. But now I'm just sad. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and I hope it gets better. Bye.